Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have an elegant Christmas flat shaker card with foiled accents card to share with you featuring brand new and previously released products from Waffle Flower Crafts. This poinsettia was one of my favorite products from last year and I'm going to pair it with some beautiful new September release product. So here is the finished card. Real quick, I wanted to show the products. This is the eucalyptus panel is the outside border. Then we have the Sub Sentiments Christmas Foil Plates, which is lots of small greetings. Those are always my favorite. The Oversized Merry Christmas Foil Plate and the Oversized Merry Christmas Die. We're gonna use the outline die for that. And then the previously released products are the Layered Poinsettia and then the Stems Die. And the Stems Die is not Christmas, but I love being able to use something that isn't Christmas related on a holiday card. Um, definitely look at your supplies and see what you have in your stash that you can use to make similar. So we are going to start with that eucalyptus panel die. I've die cut it from some smooth white cardstock and we are going to be masking off the four edges of our panel with some post-it tape. And I'm going to just take the post-it tape and um, attach it to my paper grid that I'm using for easy cleanup today. I can just tear off that paper and throw it away. But that way I only ink up the eucalyptus and not the outside border. I'd like to leave the outside border white and this is my favorite way to achieve that. Then we're going to take some Distress Oxide inks. I am using Iced Spruce which is my color of the year, uh, my absolute favorite for holiday. Then we'll use Evergreen bow and forest moss. I couldn't remember. I'm so sorry. And I am using my my ink blending brushes that I use for distress oxide ink. I have a certain set that I always use for distress oxides and I'm not worrying about keeping it exact. I want the colors to really overlap. I really try to find colors that I thought represented eucalyptus the best, but still provided lots of, you know, interesting color changes that still gave you that soft, muted, beautiful, elegant Christmas palette. And then this is the darkest color by far, but I think it really kind of helps tie it all together. Once I have this all inked, up, I will remove the post-it tape and I'm going to place this in a splatter box. I broke my distress sprayer so I am using a little uh, my mini mister right now and oh I guess I inked up my my poinsettias first I'm so sorry. The poinsettias are inked with a base of speckled egg so that's where I'm going to pull in the blue. And that's obviously very light blue and it doesn't really go with the theme, but I promise we're gonna pull in a little darker color here, or a little greenery into our poinsettia bloom here in a minute. So with iced spruce then, I am going to kind of just lightly go in and ink up parts of the flower. You could definitely use a detail blending brush for this if you want to, but I found I really didn't need to. I'm just gonna use that my uh, ink blending tool for the green ink and layer that over the blue and I think it looks beautiful. I used two of the medium size flowers and one of the small for my poinsettia. There's also a larger poinsettia die in this set. If you're looking for a great poinsettia set for Christmas, again, this did come out in um, 2021, but it remains one of my absolute favorites. So here are the four colors I used for all of my inking today. Now, let's go ahead and remove our post-it tape and place our eucalyptus panel in a splatter box. And look at that crisp white border. This is one of my all-time favorite little hacks for this. And it's really, really pretty. I think it's going to make a fantastic frame. 
Now I did spritz it with water. As I was saying, I broke my Distress sprayer. I have a new one ordered, but it's not here yet. But I did use my Mini Mister just to kind of distress a little bit. I don't know that that much of it uh, worked. So I took my little sprayer out and I actually used it to just make droplets of water all over and then I blotted it dry. And there's how our poinsettia is going to look. I'm going to grab my paper pad again really quick. I didn't want a stark white background back behind. I felt like it needed to have some greenery. I am going to take the iced spruce and ink up a scant four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel. And it's scant, it's a slightly smaller than A2 because this is going to be the panel that is the actual flat shaker. Now, a horrible thing happened and I did not film the footage of making the flat shaker. So I am inserting at the end of this video how to make a flat shaker. If you haven't, it's very easy. It is my go-to for making any kind of shaker anymore just because it doesn't have the mess of um, foam tape. So if you don't know how to make one, I will link to that at the end of the video and I am sorry. For my background panel, I did the same thing that I did with the eucalyptus panel where I splattered on some water droplets. It's gonna be a lot more visible on a big panel like this. And I felt like it needed a little something else. And I decided to take my Distress Mica Stain from last year's holiday release from Tim Holtz in the color Tree Lot. But I didn't want to spray it over the whole panel because I knew that it would create way more ink than what I actually want on my panel and turn it a completely different color. And I want to keep it that iced spruce color with just a little green, darker green distressing. So I'm actually going to do the same thing and I am going to take my sprayer out and I at first I picked it up with a little uh, paintbrush and I guess I did use a paintbrush I just put a little bit in my splatter box I know it's out of frame and I just splattered it with little droplets with my small paintbrush all over the panel to get those dark green droplets so again this is a distress mica stain but not used with the sprayer let's foil I've got my glimmer hot foil system warming up and I'm going to foil both of the things I'm using today at one time to save time. So I am using that oversized Merry Christmas and the Sub Sentiments Christmas foil plate. And I love that that with the Sub Sentiments, it foils all of them at one time. So you can definitely save that for use for later on. The foil colors I chose to use today because I'm using silver accents for everything. I am using some matte silver Spellbinders foil and I'm using moon dust foil. That's going to be that that bluish color that I think kind of ties it all together. The moon dust is for Merry Christmas and then the matte silver is for the smaller sentiment strips. I am going to place these on my glimmer hot foil system side by side is how I felt like they fit the best. I'm going to use some hammer mill cardstock. That's my preferred cardstock for hot foiling. And I am going to let that heat up, run it through my die cutting machine. We're going to peel off our foil. I did have a tiny bit of overfoiling, but I think we can fix that and a lot of it won't be seen. And our foiling is done. I am going to die cut the oversized Merry Christmas with that coordinating die. And if you would rather not foil, you can always use the detail Merry Christmas die that comes with that. And then I'm taking my Simon Says Stamp sentiment label dies and I'm gonna die cut the smaller greetings I wanna use for my card. And I chose to use the phrases, have yourself a, and the phrase, and a happy new year. I'm gonna very carefully tape these in place with some post-it tape. I do wanna say, make sure you don't put your tape over the foiling, it will lift it up. Here is how it looks before I create the shaker. I've got my eucalyptus frame. I've got my Merry Christmas. We have our little sentiment strips. We have the poinsettia and then out of that floral stems die, I did use some matte silver cardstock and some silver glitter cardstock to die cut the greenery 
quote unquote green read that comes out from behind the poinsettia. So there I accidentally did not have my camera on for the flat shaker. I was pretty mad. I'm so sorry. I'm running on, on coffee and fumes this month. And again, I will link to how to create a flat shaker at the end of this video. I am going to, I adhered my panel, eucalyptus panel then over the background panel. So the shaker is the flat um, ink blended background with the Merry Christmas adhered to it. It has some packaging used for the flat shaker wrapped around it. I put in some silver star confetti and also some snowflake confetti, just something I had in my drawer. Neither one was brand new. Um, the stars I'm sure are from Pretty Pink Posh. They're my absolute favorite. And then just a scattering of some other confetti. I'm gonna glue the poinsettia together, tucking it down there along the bottom edge. My have yourself a and, and a happy new year are adhered to the front of my flat shaker with a little foam adhesive. And then I'm tucking my greenery underneath the poinsettia and I'm just trimming it down. You can see I'm trimming down those long strips, but I love that I that you can take something that is not holiday related at all and create some beautiful greenery. Even if you were gonna do more of a traditional color type poinsettia, this would work beautifully to create maybe some poinsettia arches or something to that effect. I decided I pulled out all kinds of different pearl accents from Pretty Pink Posh and I actually decided to use, let me give you the right color, these are the latte color and they're not silver, but I actually liked these better. I felt like it just kind of added the right touch to the center of the poinsettia. There is a dye if you want to create your own berries and not use embellishments. And there is our finished shaker card. Super quick and easy. Um, I wanted to share how to create a fast and easy, elegant card today. I think these would be beautiful mass produced. Um, and I hope it's inspired you to maybe try some hot foiling on your next holiday card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this elegant flat shaker foiled holiday card featuring brand new and previously released Waffle Flower Crafts products. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my wonderful Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you again next time. Bye.